Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today's video was a special request from Ashley. She had seen a three bead ring in the live stream I did last week where I was showing the older rings that we used to make and sell on the streets of Montreal. So what you're going to need for this project is your ring mandrel, your tools. I have some looping pliers for the larger circles. You can use the end of a pen if you don't have those. I have 16 gauge wire. I have eight millimeter cat's eye beads. You can also use miracle beads and I have 24 gauge wire to wrap the beads with. So I'm going to start with a six to eight inch piece of the 16 gauge wire. I'm going to use the largest loop on my looping pliers. If you don't have these looping pliers, use the end of a pen. So I'm just going to start by forming the loop. So we're just going to bring it around all the way around here. We'll start doing a kind of a figure eight thing. So we're going to bring it around this way, remove these, put it back in there and bring it around. Remove them and then we want to make it look a little bit like a clover. So we're going to bring this one around in here all the way around. This one's going to go out to the side and then we want to clip that one here. So we're just going to give it a little bit of a clip so it's flush. Remove it and just push it down so it's in there. So we have our three circles and now we want to add our beads. So I'm going to take the 24 gauge wire and I want to start just by looping it in between these two loops here. So just take this, bring it through just right around here. You can bring it through twice if you feel it's going to be more solid. We're just going to bring it through there and there. And then we're going to take our eight millimeter bead, just stick it in there, bring it over to this side and loop it a couple of times. Just bring that one in here and then we'll put one over here. And we'll wind it a couple of times just so it stays nice and firmly in place. And then this wire we can bring over to here, bring it up through the back here, push it down in here, bring it up in here. Take your flat pliers if you need to just to pull it, put the other bead on there, bring it across here and push it through. Just wind it around a couple of times, bring that to the back we can trim that one on that side and bring that one to the back and trim that. Wire's way too long. And then we're just going to pinch those ends in, rotate them a bit in so they're not pokey. This one too, just take it, pinch it and rotate it in so there's no pokey ends. Stick it on the ring mandrel, hold this in place and bring the wire around. So just bring it all the way around. This ring is going to be adjustable. So we're going to bring that one in here behind, stick it right up there. And now you can, if you want to push these down a little bit. And then from here, we're just going to clip it underneath there. So just take your cutters, clip it underneath. You can file that end if you want to. Bring that right under there. You can also tap this on the hammer to make it a little bit harder. Put it back on the mandrel and there you have your funky three bead ring. So you can see on the original sample, the loops were made a little bit smaller so there's less space around the beads. You can just choose which way you like the look of it. This one, we had actually put the band through the rolling mill to flatten it before forming the ring. So there's lots of options for this design. If you do want to use the end of a pen, just go ahead and take your 16 gauge wire and bend this around. 
just form it around here. Leave a little extra bit so it's easy to hold on to. Bring this one around here and start the loop. But once you've started it, you're going to want to like push it around. So just hold this and just crank it around here to make it tighter. Otherwise it's going to be hard to manipulate. So we have those two. We'll bring it over here. Same thing. We're going to bring this one around. Just start it like that and then rotate it so it's going to be easier to access. It's very stiff wire. So you want to start the loop further away and then just wiggle it in towards the middle. So we've got that. So we've got this sort of configuration that looks a bit like a clover. This one we're just going to bring straight out a little bit. So we have that little configuration that looks like a clover. From here we can clip this end so that's flush and then we can push that end in there. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put that through the rolling mill to flatten it. So I just push this over a little bit. I put this in the rolling mill to about there. I can't go much further than that. And then once you've done that, you can just bring this one back. So you can see where the flat starts there. Adjust this as you need to. And then we can put our beads in there. This time I used Miracle beads. I wound them with the 24 gauge wire as before. And now I'm going to put it on the ring mandrel. So just place it where you want. Wind the band around. You can just go around once. Or if you want, you can go around twice. Depends on your wire and what kind of look you want. And then we're just going to tighten it up a little bit more. Remove the mandrel and then just give it a clip underneath. Cut it flush. You can file it if you need to. If not, just push it underneath there. Adjust it how you need. And there you have your funky ring with the flat band. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.